I got Shane Stars with DroidMotorX.com, and many of you guys have been asking me, is it okay to receive the latest Verizon over-the-air update to 605.2 if you are S off? And the answer is, after asking several developers, the answer is yes, you can receive the over-the-air update. Now, to accept the over-the-air update, you need to be completely stocked. You won't be able to uh, run a custom recovery. You can't be on a ROM. Uh, you will have to be running the stock ROM. Now, you can get back to the stock ROM by flashing an Android backup, but somehow you got to make sure that you grab a stock recovery because you're, like I said, not able to flash it over Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Wind Recovery Project. Uh, so there's a lot of finagling that you can do in order to accept that over-the-air update. Today, I'm going to show you a quick, simple, and easy way to flash the over-the-air update via fastboot commands. Now, this does require that you have the SDK installed. It also requires that you're familiar with how to... Uh, execute fastboot commands. The commands that we have to run are pretty simple and easy and uh, well without further explaining it let's just go ahead and jump into it. Okay so this method will work no matter what ROM you're running. Uh, you will be able to flash the over-the-air update manually via fastboot. Um, there are no other requirements. You can be running a custom ROM, you can be running a custom recovery and all of this should work out fine no matter what you're running, what firmware you're on. On the device itself you want to go into settings and we'll go into uh, about phone, software information, more, and the build number. Click on that until it says that you are now a developer. And then we will open up our developer options. We'll turn those on and make sure that USB debugging is checked. And then we'll plug our phone into our PC or MacBook. Okay, so I will have a link in the description to... Uh, Santod's mods. This is the uh, this is the thread here, and it'll take you to this link here, which is Santod mods uh, files for the HC1 M8, and you'll end up here. The one that I'm going to flash here is the No Boot Image firmware. This keeps your Team Win Recovery Project intact. So this is what you're going to want to use here. So go ahead and download that. From there, you will just stick that in your Platform Tools folder in your SDK folder and you'll see it right here okay and then we'll open up our terminal emulator and we will adb reboot bootloader then you should see your phone reboot into bootloader okay from there we'll go back to our main thread and there's a few commands to type here Okay, it says fastboot OEM reboot RUU. That's just going to put the device in RUU mode. Enter. Okay, so we'll go back to our SDK folder and we'll rename this file to firmware.zip just to make it easier to flash. Okay, and then in this directory, we'll CD into our platform tool. So CD, for me it's users, Shane Starnes, desktop, Android, platform, tools. Okay, so when I'm in the correct folder, uh, we'll just copy and paste the fastboot flash zip firmware.zip. Fastboot flash zip firmware dot zip and enter. And that's going to go ahead and flash the file. So you see it's kind of doing its thing. We'll give it several minutes. Uh, you can kind of check the status bar on the phone itself. Okay, it says finished. The total time of 26.34 seconds. Just going to kind of leave it running and just make sure that it is totally 100% finished. Okay, so when it finishes running its process, you will want to type fastboot reboot uh, in the terminal. That will reboot your device to the operating system. And you're not going to be updated to the 605.2 uh, software version, but in this package includes the firmware, radios, and boot image. So basically everything 
that you need here will be updated. If you wanted to run the 605.2, there are several custom ROMs that you will be able to run. And that is just basically the easiest way to update your devices, uh, radios, and firmware uh, without going all the way back to stock and then flashing the official over-the-air update. And uh, the developers, they really take care of us. There's no need to stick to the over-the-air update path because with a device that is open and unlocked as this, we're always going to have the latest and greatest firmwares, always the latest and greatest radios, and uh, we'll have the latest software through our ROMs that we run. Uh, so keep it tuned to this channel. I'll show you guys all the latest ROMs. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the near future. Be sure to share the videos. It helps me more than you know. Like I said, thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.